we've seen a number of concept cars from Audi, the e-trons. Um, where are we in terms of actually seeing a fully plug-in electric car from Audi? Yeah, we are close. As we've confirmed uh, to the U.S., we'll be bringing the A3 Sport back uh, as a plug-in hybrid, uh, as an e-tron, and we think the plug-in is the way to go. It gives you that combination of uh, full electric mode, plus it gives you the safety and security of having the backup engine, of course, if you want to have further range and further extension. So we'll be bringing this car to market in about a year, and uh, we're looking forward to it. So that'll be our first e-tron. Once that one comes, I think you'll be seeing e-tron uh, across our portfolio. You showed off a car that can actually park itself. When I first read that, I thought, okay, I've been in Ford cars that can park <laughs> themselves. But then I saw your video, and there's no one in the driver's seat. Can we do that today? Uh, I think the first thing, it's a stunning piece of Audi technology, and as you know, it's very cool. Uh, we demonstrated it in Las Vegas during CES. We're capable of doing that? Absolutely. Our technology is there, the technology in the car is there. Where we need to get to, obviously, is the infrastructure. Is that something that could work in any parking garage or any parking lot anywhere, or is it, does a parking lot for that need to be set up with sensors and things for a car to be able to do that? It could be done in any parking lot, but of course you need to have the sensors there. So if there's no sensors, it can't happen. But you can do it in, obviously, new construction, but you can also retrofit an existing parking lot. But again, you need to have the sensors. Obviously, the next step would be not just self-parking, but self-driving. Is Audi thinking about that? We are, and I think we demonstrated a good example of that. In fact, we are the first manufacturer to actually get a license from the state of Nevada for uh, autonomous driving. We know there are situations in congested urban environments where it makes a lot more sense to move into piloted mode. Uh, it works that way for safety. It works that way for distraction. Uh, we think if you look at what's happening in America with a lot more urbanization, we need to define these technologies. And you do think that eventually we will come to a point where we're going to have a comfort level with taking our hands off the wheels as drivers and letting I the cars I think do that. eventually we will. Okay. I think eventually we will. And I think it's going to be a combination of government and legislation, and then I think also it's going to be a combination of consumer acceptance.